I just got word that one of my subscribers is being threatened by YouTube to have their channel deleted. And why? Copyrights. The good old corporate mentality is at work again. And if we can't see our corporate mentality just happens to be destroying the freaking planet. And I'm trying to set the example of a different way of being. I am giving away my energy. I'm giving away my knowledge. My, I'm giving away my copyrights to anybody that wants to listen. You know, I'm doing this free. Nobody's paying me. I don't get paid to do any of this. You know, anybody can take these videos and upload it to your own channel. And what am I getting? Okay, well, I've had somebody send me some financial support. Kind of helps because we live in this economic system right now that I wish would just crash and burn. But rent still needs to be paid and food needs still needs to be bought until we shift into a new mentality of how we live. But I think the, the example I'm trying to set is find out what you love doing. You know, what is your purpose in life? And do it and give it away free. And, you know, if it benefits somebody else, inspire them to do the same. Because if we were all serving each other, if we were all giving our natural talents to the world, globally we'll feel it, we'll be receiving. You know, if you've got, if I had a whole friggin' planet giving of themselves free, wouldn't I be receiving some of that? <laughs> wouldn't I be benefiting from some of the things everybody is giving away free? And wouldn't I have to be part of that game and giving something of me? I'm one person, and yet, you know, there's over 100,000 people that have viewed my channel, so there's over 100,000, well, I don't know if they're individual people, they're over 100,000 views. So that means something I'm putting out there has been seen over 100,000 times by somebody could have all been the same person. I don't know the numbers, but I clearly know that my one energy has definitely been received by more than one person. It's a mathematical fact. So any and anything that you put out there will be felt by more than one person. You know, but we have these laws that says only one person has to benefit. You know, by copyrights, it's like you know, the guy at the top of the chain is the only guy that's going to make money. You know, you may be gaining that information, but the only information that are getting it are the people that can afford to get it. You know, and if it's if information is so good, if coast to coast is giving out so much good information, don't you think the whole friggin' planet should know about it? But no, only the top few. And what are the top few going to do with all that information? Generally manipulate it and control it so that they can profit from it. And then we have to look at what a copyright is. You know, I kind of look at anybody's books, anybody's theories, anybody's ideas that are written or, you know, can written or said or spoken is a copyright. Nobody's getting any ideas from themselves. Everybody's getting an idea from this person, that person, and that person. And the only time it's new is when you put the whole piece together and you start saying it for yourself. You know, I, Tony Robbins is the first one that really, really, it was like, wow, wake up. Kind of see what a copyright is. This guy wrote a book on everybody else's stuff. There's not one thought that's his own. You know, he just put everybody else's books into and condensed it into his own freaking book. You know, he's just a good speaker. That's the only thing he was good at is speaking about everybody else's stuff. You know, so in order for him to benefit profit from anything he's speaking does he go and pay all of these people that he stole all their stuff from he stole that knowledge from somebody you know if, if for him to write one book he probably got the knowledge from a hundred people so if he profited from his own copyrights then by rights he should be paying everybody else that he got the knowledge from you know then how much money is he actually making then none but we got this corporate setup 
that's so screwed up that the one that gets the big idea is the one that doesn't get it. It's the one that steals it from the one guy that has the big idea. So I'm totally against copyrights. Anybody can, you know, take my stuff and use it. And, you know, if you can earn any money or earn anything that comes at you, go for it. You know, because I didn't get any of this information from myself. I'm getting it from the mind consciousness of the freaking globe. I've read all of the freaking self-help books. I've read all of the Bibles. I've looked at so many different religions. I speak to God myself. You know, nothing is coming from me directly. <laughs> Everything I know comes from somebody else. A lot about my life came from my own kids. They taught me about life, which they didn't get it from anybody. They were born knowing some of this shit. Just like I was born knowing some shit, but I, I, I kind of got fooled into believing everybody else's shit that I ended up finding out was bullshit and led me down the wrong path. So now I'm kind of listening to myself, putting the pieces of the puzzle together. But as I'm setting up my channel and saying the energy that I'm putting out, let's just sort of see what I'm getting in return. As I mentioned, somebody else has, has helped me out financially, so indebted to this guy. I really want to do something good for this guy, but he's not asking for what he wants. You know, he's not letting me know what I can do back for him so I can be more beneficial to him. Um, he does say he enjoys my video, so that's one way I can give back, but it tends to make me want to give more. You know, like when somebody says you're good at something, you want to even be better at something. You know, you want, you know, it, it's a return thing. It's so freaking amazing how it can work out totally different. Then I'm getting somebody else that's sending me some of this intentional jewelry. She's, um, has native blood into her. She's, uh, um, the spirituality, the, you know, the belief systems that she has, the love, every aspect of this person is like so amazing to be able to be connected with her. And she's putting all of her love and knowledge and intentions into jewelry that she makes. And she's sending me some jewelry. I happen to have lost all of my jewelry. I happen, you know, at one time had gold. But in order to survive, I ended up losing all my gold. Somebody stole most of it, you know, at Christmas. That was a nice feeling. But I've had to sell a lot of my gold in order to pay the bills. So when I, you know, just seen it go out of my life, I kind of knew that somehow I will get jewelry back in a better way. <laughs> and lo and behold, somebody's offering me some free jewelry. <clears throat> but every time I wear it, I will be reminded of her loving spirit and her intentions and it will constantly be a reminder that I'm connected with some other human on the planet that's wishing me well, that's supporting me. I will be constantly reminded of my connection with other humans on this freaking planet that want to do well every time I wear a piece of jewelry. When I receive it, I'll let you see it. I'm really excited to see it, and I'm kind of encouraging her to start a channel of her own and 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 educate other people of where she's coming from and the meaning behind the jewelry. Because you know, I think that if she puts something out there, that she will get something back in return as well. Kind of, she's kind of enjoying that. Then um, there's another guy that is building these things that. Um, um, I personally would love to try it. Got a little bit of a sleeping problem. Ever since I've even connected with this guy and he's building me one of these things and giving it to me and he's saying it would definitely help my sleep. I've been sleeping better just knowing it's coming, you know, and it does uh, change the energy in the room that you're living in. And I happen to believe, you know, there are technologies out there. There are, There is an invisible force that can transform negative energy in the air into something that's positive. Um, we're, we're seeing it with heart. You know, they have scalar waves. If it's done negatively, it's going to create negative experiences on our freaking planet. And if we build something that is through a good intention, it has the potential to transform that negative energy that's out in the air that can have the potential to control your thoughts and how you think and feel 
um, something positive can actually counteract that. You know, so I'm receiving that as well, free. Um, so this is the way our new way of doing things is give up yourself and you'll see if everybody did that you'll be receiving a hell of a lot more than you're getting right now just a concept but I would get rid of these copyright laws these patent laws and it's like let's see how we can all sort of benefit from all our ideas but if it happens just just you know accept and allow it it's just a friggin YouTube channel and just do it all over again because they can't stop this new way of thinking and peace out